think Sopran had a good example of how you um, kind of use it as motivation. I find when someone first passes away, you focus a lot on the grief and the pain of not having them. But uh, as time goes by, you either try to use it as a positive um, inspiration or, um, you know, a fuel to help other people. Mm -hmm. I think that made a good point because some people often say, well, you know, when you have a loss, um, you know, time heals all wounds. But I, I don't necessarily believe that that's true. Like, time doesn't heal all wounds unless you do something about it or unless you try and find a way to cope with it. Like, I know, um, like for us, um, like for my family, like it was pretty, it hit pretty hard for us. Um, but like, if we moved, um, we still have a room in our new house dedicated to my sister. We had some of her toys up on shelves and stuff and we always like play like some of her like favorite songs sometimes and we watch memorable movies and stuff. Like I always watch Big Hero 6. That was one of her favorite Disney mm -hmm. movies or The Little Mermaid, you know, once in a while just to like remind ourselves and keep her spirit alive. Mm -hmm. You can't go against the flow of the river, so you might as well accept it. And so uh, it took me a, t a lot of time to accept it. Uh, and to this day, I still have, still, it's still hard. But as I said, it's, it's my, my force to keep going mm -hmm. and to get back up. Yeah, I mean, I agree with everything everyone else has said in terms of um, it being a source of motivation for new goals um, and like a better understanding of some things. Um, and I also think it presents itself in different ways as time goes on. Um, in the beginning, it's more obvious, especially to other people, well, actually to other people and to yourself. Um, but as time goes on, it's still there. It just, it shows up in places where you don't necessarily realize that mm -hmm. it is. Um, and because obviously it doesn't go away, it's always there. You're always going to remember that it happened. You're always going to remember it your family member and or your sibling and like I, I don't want to forget about that obviously mm -hmm. um, but yeah it just it changes how it presents itself over time I guess. I think one of the hardest things for me was um, you know when people kind of stop coming around um, because for other people they move on people who aren't who didn't know the person who passed they move on fast mm -hmm. there's an expected like exactly. timeline where you're supposed to feel better um, I remember it was my mom had said that she was talking to someone about um, Vincent and they'd said um, oh you're not over that yet hmm. like yeah wow yeah. just my people mom, who don't really understand my mom said that to a friend at university and she, she told that uh, a friend she knew just passed of cancer. Um, the first time we, we knew Gabriel had cancer. So that was, it was a shock for my mom. And she, she managed to stay tight mm -hmm. and to raise me and my, and my brother up until now. Yeah, it's interesting that our society like is such a death-fearing society. And then to be someone trying to deal with this in our life over years and years and years. It's not, it's like what you said, it doesn't necessarily get easier. And I'm sure it like, yeah. And it gets harder up. to talk about. Mm. Like for me, I often can't even put it into words and I often don't want to. Like it's not that I don't want to tell people about Vincent or I don't want to share that part of my life with them um, or don't want to keep his memory alive. I do, it's just very difficult for me to talk about. My brother had cancer, but I probably just forgot or I didn't realize, and so two days before his passing, um, I was playing around with some friends at the Rogers house, uh, and things were going great, you know, and thanks to my mom, she, she didn't want me to see my brother uh, pass away. So on the day of the passing, she invited, got some friends to invite me to um, some place to go play. And when I came back, my brother was already um, in heaven. So at that time, it wasn't really much of a shock. It wasn't something that I, I, I knew about or I realized what really death was. 
but um, now that I've grown and I'm older and more mature, it's coming back again. Um, and so having these conversations is really helpful.